Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this episode of Professional Commentary with me, Full. Today we're looking at Fable Anniversary, where it's basically the question to what if Lord of the Rings was set in Bristol? Once upon a time, in an old village called Oakvale. Okay, so I am Chicken Chaser, and Chicken Chaser is my name. I am Little Boy in the Side. Let's start a new game. Deep in the forest of Albion lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness, but one day being a hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard. And other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power and destiny that lay before him. Come on, wake up. Just like your mother, mind always wandering. At least only my mind is wandering, and not my um, gentleman sausage. She's out playing by the Barrow Fields gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. Don't tell me you forgot to get her one. Well, I'm not bailing you out this time, son. But I need the money. Now, get moving and stay out of trouble. All right, now if you guys wonder if this looks a bit different to what you remember, this is because this is Fable Anniversary Edition. It's basically where they had a bit of an overhaul of how the game looked. Um, if you're like me, you kind of remember it, how it looked like in the um, old, old days of PC. I don't th was this game released on Xbox? I'll have to check. And, um, yeah, it's changed a bit. I don't know, I personally like the feel of the old one. This one looks a bit city. Everyone looks a bit... I want to say inbred. But, you know... English. Anyway, I enjoyed the Fable games, especially the old ones. I actually played through most of them. Uh, one, two, and three. I never actually played the... That on-rails shooter one and whatever the hell they planned afterwards. I basically stopped at three and I feel like that was a good place to stop. I quite enjoyed the other ones. Um... I really, really like fantasy games, uh, especially RPG fantasy games. Uh, that's quite evident about my love of the Witcher series, but I still need to play the third, so shh, no one needs to know. Anyway, let's see what my old da wants. Let me hear some good reports about your behavior, and I'll give you some money for your sister's birthday present. That seems like a bit of extortion to me. No wonder where I got it from. Hello, little lass, who are you? I look like I do not give a shit about any of her problems. Actually, it looks more like I don't comprehend her problems. Doobie doo. Do you know what my name is called? Chicken Chaser? Shush! You don't know that. Do you know why this? Why I'm called Chicken Chaser? Because I kick chickens and then I chase them. Run after them! Ooh, everyone thinks I'm very funny. Yeah, well, fuck you. What can I do for you, my lady? Where's that filthy layabout husband of mine? I, I'm not sure. With some woman I don't doubt. You don't doubt. I run his house, bring up his children, and what do I get in return? Nothing. Except lechery. If you find him, let me know, won't you? I'll do that. Maybe. I don't know. Hello? Oh my good sir, you have the best moustache. I want your moustache. Can I shave it and take it as mine? Hello, lad. I'm a trader. A trader. I wander the world, buying and selling wares, especially to find folk like your good self. Oh, that's fantastic, my good man. Some little girl I saw said you have a sister, and it's her birthday. He looks very surprised. Also, why are his eyebrows trying to hide, be hide behind his headcloth? You haven't got her a present yet. No, I haven't got her a present yet. Can you help me, my good sir? It just so happens that I have a rather nice box of sweets here. Oh. Guaranteed to put a smile on any sister's face for only three gold pieces. Okay, so the mission is to get three gold pieces. Oh my. <laughs> Lecherous hugging. So what is this? What? Uh, are, 
I was just, um, I, I've never even met this woman. Who is she? Mother, how could you? Wait, that's not my mother. Never mind, carry on. Keep your mouth shut about this, right? Okay. My wife's at home with our little ones, and I'm supposed to be working. Why aren't you working? But a man should be entitled to do what he likes, don't you think? Um, not if what he likes is lechery. If you keep this little secret, I'll give you a gold piece. Okay, give me... Will you take this bribe and commit a bad deed? But wait, gossip travels very quickly. Oh, well. Yes! Glad. Here, have this gold piece. Thanks! Look after yourself. Forget everyone else. You're a bit of a knob, aren't you? Okay, thank you. I'm gonna go see your wife now and get double the money. <laughs> I don't give a, a damn about morals. I only give a shit about money. Oi, missus. I found your husband. Where's that filthy layabout husband of mine? I know. <laughs> Which I yes, yes. Fine. I'm gonna let you know. Yes. You have? Right. I'm gonna turn him into Balverine food. Thank you, young sir, for telling me. It's my pleasure, madam. Yay. Strange little boy he is. Shut the fuck up. Well, if you think I'm going to cook and clean for you while you're out having a good time with your stupid, you've got another thing coming. You've got another thing yes, coming. You've got, dun, 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 dun. Yeah, you got another you know thing was. coming. Who is she anyway? Some tart from the village? Mmm, tart. Oh. Right, mischief managed. Let's continue on. Hello, my good sir. What can I do for you this lovely day? Oh, oh, thank goodness. Listen, lad, could you do me a favor? I could probably do you a favor. Yeah? I've got to, you know, answer a call of nature. Why is she calling you? Why does she have your number? I'll put a good word in for you when I get back. Ooh. Right, won't be long. Well, this seems interesting. I... My cousin says that the barrels in these warehouses might have stuff in them. Oh, aren't you a cheeky little shit? Quick, while he's away, smash his barrels up and see what's inside. I'll tell you what, no, he promised me money. And you don't seem like you have a ton of money, now do you, tiny little lad? Unless you're too scared. Unless you're just a big blubbing girl. At least my voice is broken, you little bugger. How do I attack things? He's just gonna stand there like a limp. Like right. a... What did I do? What did I do? I've heard reports that you've been doing bad deeds. What did I do? Accessory to improper man and lady behavior. I ratted him out, you little bugger. That sort of behavior is not acceptable. That's very nice, my good guardman, but I did the good thing. You'd be apprehended and fined by the town guard. Yeah, you can find your ass. Hello. Blah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you try to bribe me, little bugger. And you don't have any money to do that. Yeah, it's me again. Shall we remind ourselves? <sighs> I shan't tell lies. You know what? Fuck this chicken. I'll let your dad know what a splendid watchman you made. Maybe one day I'll grow up to be a watchman. Who knows? Probably this game. Okay, what are we finding here? You seem like not a nice lad. What can we do about you? I'm just dealing with this brat. If he was irritating me, playing with my sister and her stupid teddy bear, no, he won't give it to me. Just because I said I'd rip his stupid head off. You can't rip a little boy's head off. Okay, that's nice. Bye. Blah, 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 blah. I'm sorry. I'll leave him alone. Just please don't hit me again. Oi, you little cheeky shit behind me. Thank you. What happened to your teeth, man? But don't you make faces. Faces are mean. If you are mean, I will slap. I will. I will punch your face. Okay. Okay. Also, I just noticed I'm a little Padawan. Do you see my rat tail? Do you see it? I'm in training to be a Jedi. Oi, Brom. Mm. I'm a man of my word. So here's the gold for your good deeds. But if you think that I'll turn a blind eye to your mischief, you're very wrong. Look, try to keep out of trouble, please, for me. I did what I thought was right. Do you not have a sense of morality, man? Eee, I have five gold. I have two gold to spare. Maybe I should buy myself something nice. You know, like a hooker. Or maybe I should go gamble and blackjack. Quickly, give me three gold pieces now and they all. This sounds like a drug deal. Mind you, I probably my sister would probably enjoy yes. drugs, so there we go. Got some drugs. Hello Teresa, how is it going with you? I hope your eyesight's do Hello, doing well. Mother. I hope you haven't forgotten what day it is, like you did last year. 
Tuesday. I knew you were going to bring me chocolates. There's some it's LSD in them. Dream. Shh. Come on, let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. Okay, let's have some chocolate. Okay. Did we have some chocolate? There's something wrong. Did I lace them wrong? Man, that's some strong LSD right there. Evil had come to Oakvale. Bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. Blood red flames lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy. And soon their bodies filled the streets. Then the raiders reached the last house where the boy and his family lived. It was then they had slaughtered so many to find. The father fought to protect his kin, but he was no warrior. He fell mortally wounded. The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. Through torture and threats, his mother and sister remained silent, and their furious attackers took them both. From the nearby woods, the boy watched as all he knew was taken away, his whole life was crushed to ashes. He was alone. What is pretty cool is those um, introductory cuts, or the, not introductory, just the cutscene thingies. Um, the murals on the wall, you can actually go watch them as you progress through the story. They're in the guild hall that will, that you can visit um, a bit later on in the game. <laughs> Alright, now Nick his clothes. He has some nice armor. We must leave. It's not safe here. Okay. Dead. You don't want to join them, do you? Then give me your hand. Why exactly are you here, old man? Where are you taking me? Are you the doctor? Help me, help me, I've been abducted by the doctor! Mm. I thought you'd have a stronger stomach than that. Come on. <sighs> Save your energy, boy. It's not me you want to fight. You might not realize it, but I just saved your life. In case you've been wondering, the audio cues in this game is very... Well, they are very strange. It feels like something should happen in the meantime. It's like they don't breathe. It's very awkward. Also, I just lost my soul. <laughs> I'll introduce you to the Guildmaster. He'll be your guide from now on. Oh, shit. In case you guys have never played this game before, at the front right over there is the Guildmaster. He's going to annoy the shit out of you. Look much like hero material to me, but Maze knows what he's doing, I suppose. Well, follow me then. Scrawny little bastard. It's time to wake up. You must be my roommate. Hmm. Shorter than I expected. Yeah, well, you're taller than I expected. I've been here for a month. Had the room to myself till now, too. But that's all right. You know you talk in your sleep. Sounded like a bad nightmare. It's probably because I saw your face. Hmm. Looks like the Guildmaster got tired of waiting for you. I'm sorry, you're also the one that we're waiting for. Let's go. You're just putting everything on me. This is why I kill you in the future. Do 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 do. Sup, homies? We're discussing whether I'm the fastest apprentice in this guild. I ran to the demon door and back in 50 seconds. Beat that. Right then. 50 seconds. Let's go. In case you guys are wondering, this is a demon door. It's the stuff of nightmares. That's, that's amazing. How did you do it? I lost my bet. Give me my money. Did I get? I got 25 gold. Here, buggers. Ha 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 I can retire now. These women are miming a silent conversation. I can't hear a word they're saying, but they're clearly speaking. Well, not anymore. It's probably because I interrupted them. There we go. 
She's going meow and gesturing towards me. Hello. Oh, so I'm sorry. Did I interrupt you? Ooh, apple. Oh, I got an apple. Nee, 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 nee. Right, I'm here now to see what I'm capable of, Guildmaster. Teach me your ways. It's time to see if you've any potential. Get in the ring. Um, are we going to fight to the death? I want you to hit that dummy as hard as you can. But you're standing outside. Keep going till I tell you to stop. That's what she said. Smooshy, smashy, smishy, smashy, smashy, smooshy, smash, rap. Here, try with this. Oh man, I wanted him to give me a sword. When you destroy an enemy like this dummy, it drops an experience orb. These orbs contain the knowledge gained from killing the creature. So if I killed you, it wouldn't drop anything. By the force powers granted to me by my force training, I shall force pull this glowing orb towards me. Nyeh! Now what's so special about these woods, huh? I only see... Well, not anything really. But I have a stick. Smoosh! Smash! Smishy smashy! These are massive beetles. I have no idea how they exist in real life. Look at all the XP I'm gaining. Blah! 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 Oi! Old man, I did the thing. Those beetles can be a damn nuisance. I know what else yeah. can be a damn nuisance! You've earned yourself some pocket money for that. Oh, more money! You... The guild was now the boy's life. The memory of the Oakvale flames still scorched his mind. But soon he had no thought other than training, and he became stronger and more agile with every passing year. His days were filled with grueling exercises, the nights with study in the library. Finally, he was ready to become a guild apprentice, just as Blaze had foreseen. The real training was about to begin. Get out of bed, lazy bones. You still look the same. The Hateful. The I've turned into a pretty young lad. Oh, I, I ran the wrong way. But you didn't even start. I'm a win. Why can't I go downstairs? Go down the stairs. There we go. Okay, so the part of the game now is where they introduce us to weapons. We have our iron longsword, which we can use to smack someone that doesn't appreciate our true talents. Yeah, have that. And a bow to shoot things with, like this. I can shoot the things. Come on, lad. Get your bow out. <laughs> That's what she said. Why are these dummies on a different frame rate than I am? Oh, they're probably console peasants. And will powers, which is basically like magic to zap people with. Like that. I've turned into a Sith. Fear my force lightning. Meah. The nice thing is, it auto-locks onto the next target, which is interesting. I wonder why I'm not hitting the um, guild master. I wish I could. Very good, lad. You have learnt the three hero disciplines. We can now move on to your final test if you're ready. I still look thick as or dirt more time or mud, technically. Maybe I'm thick as mud or dirt. Right now, what did Whisper once in the, these the caves? Caves? The Woods? What? If only we could get across that stream. You know, it's only like chest high, we can. Why don't you use your bow? Or some of that lightning the guildmaster taught you. Do you not have lightning? I'll heal you if you get hurt. Do you not have lightning? Nya, 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 nya. The nice thing is, I've gotten this thingy. I've got a crossbow. Because I went in back and did the... Uh, ow, buggy hit me. I went back and did the uh, bit of training with the... Um, where I got graded on my archery. And they found it sufficient. I can't hit this guy. Let's try it like, nope. Put it back. There we go, I need to aim. Aim good, aim straight, aim true, meh. Okay, not like that. Do it better. Oh my god, I've killed a man. I've killed another man. I've killed another man. Did you see the look on their faces? You mean right before we killed, killed, killed people? About this. Whisper, we just kill people. Do you not have any remorse in your heart? Wait. Neither do I. Da, 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 Those things are struggling to get to me. Na, na, da, na, na. Come on. Come on, XP. It's stuck on the other side of the fucking river. It can't get to me. 
like a sick, pu like a lost little puppy trying to get across the stream. The experience orbs cannot make it to me. That makes me sad. I'm gonna have to abandon it. Sorry. And that seems to be my childhood. The boy mastered the skills quickly, but there was always more to learn. For years, the guild was his home, his school, and his life. But as time passed, his thoughts returned always to the world outside. The life he had lost, the family that had been torn from him. At last, only the final day of tests remained. Success would mark the end of his training. He would receive the guild seal and be free to forge his own destiny. He would become a hero. Unlimited power! Power? Power. Hey, power! Now, take your guild seals and venture forth as heroes. He didn't actually hand it to me. Yay, we heroes! And that seems to be that, lads. From here on, you go get guild missions in the guild hall, you go deal with guild missions, you level up and become incredibly buff, and also incredibly chiseled. Ooh, but I like being a skinny long lad. Okay, I hear you say that. You can just spend your points in guile and speed and accuracy. Then you can just become a really, really tall man with no health, who will die in a single hit. Anyway, celebratory Russian dance. <laughs> no, that was laughing. <laughs> Keep laughing. I am the hero now known as Horseface. I s you can just go die in a fire, Leo. Who asked you even with that stupid haircut of yours and your silly little beard and those stupid little glasses? Hmm? Who asked you? You aren't even wearing proper pants. Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyway, lads, that's how, that's basically how Fable works now. You go out, kill things, become the savior of the world. Or, you know, just become the um, destroyer of the world and become hated and feared by all. Sounds like fun as well. But with the shadow of Bowstone uh, tantalizing in the distance, I think we'll leave it at that, lads. Thank you for joining me in this episode of Professional Commentary Plays. Thank you for joining me, and ta-ta!